What is going on, my beautiful brothers and sisters, fellow radiators of love? My name is Jamal Pope, a.k.a. Jay Phoenix, and this is going to be the astrology, your astrological forecast for May 23rd, 2023. Uh, whew, I'm here. Man, I, I can't remember the last time I actually did like a daily forecast, but I realized that this is actually something I need to do. I actually do need to make a daily astrology forecast, at least for the you know, Monday through Friday or something like that. So, and, you know, honestly, looking at this chart, it's kind of ripe for it. You know, I have this chart pretty much set to when the sun rises. So at least here where I am at in uh, Georgia, the United States, the sun will rise at 613 a.m. So let's take a look at this chart, guys. All right. So. First thing, obviously, that you're going to see is that you have all this Taurus energy here in the 12th house, as well as Chiron in the 12th house. You know what's funny, guys? Coming on here, I have, so I have like a new computer. You can see I have a new program that I'm using. I invested some money because I really wanted to take this to the next level. And it's funny, too. I get here, and I'm setting everything up, and I realize I actually need more stuff. <laughs> you know, I need more connections. Um I can't even, like, I have to actually unplug my keyboard just to plug my mic in because I didn't have enough um, USB inputs. And so I need enough for my mouse, my keyboard, my microphone, and I also have a webcam too. So I need something that can actually put in four different peripherals into it. And if you really think about it, if you really look at this chart, that's kind of where we are right now. The sun is in Gemini. So first and foremost, Gemini, of course, you know, it's ruled by Mercury. The sun is in even that decan, that first 10 degrees of Gemini, which is ruled by Mercury. But one thing that Gemini is about is about the peripherals. It's about the extremities. You know, it rules the arms, the legs, your fingers. It rules that diff those different things. And when it comes to, like, computers or anything like that, you have all these different peripherals, all these different connections and stuff, right? So with the sun going into the space, you know, this is going to be a time where connecting is going to be very important. That's how you're going to really progress is by connecting with others. And it's going to be primarily with people in your local community. Another example, just from my own personal life on like how I got all this sort of stuff set up, you know, I knew last week I was going to buy a computer. I knew I was going to make that investment, right? Um, you know, I knew I was going to do that. I also knew that it wasn't necessarily going to be comfortable making that investment, but I did it anyways. I was at the gym. I remember last week I was at the gym. It was like Thursday or Friday. I was at the gym, right? And I'm like, you know what? I actually stopped my workout earlier so I could go get a computer or at least go look. And I knew in my head that I was going to go to a specialty store that specialized in computers and technology. But for some reason, I cut my workout short that night before. And I decided this was Thursday night last week. For some reason, I decided to cut it short. And what I did is I went to Target across the street from where the gym was. Didn't find what I was looking for. And I kind of knew that was going to happen going into it. But when I went to the specialty store, I got, I talked to the right people. It was more specialized and I got exactly everything that I needed or so I thought. So this is going to be a time, beloved, where if there's something that you want to get done in your life, if there's some things that you want to get done, you're going to have to go out into that local community and go into your periphery. A lot of people are so focused on what's so, so, so far outside of them. Um, maybe you're caught up in people on the internet and learning from people on the internet. This is going to be a great time for any of us, really, to go out into our local community and actually connect with people that, you know, live nearby. I feel like that's one thing that is sort of lost right now is that we have, especially over the last three years, you know, we have been really divorced from our local communities. And, the, and Gemini is all about that. Gemini is all about that. We don't really have a lot of Aquarius energy. I mean, of course, we have Pluto there, but, you know, Pluto, it's, it is retrograde. It's the only retrograde planet right now. So as far as energy moving forward, you know, this is a great time to actually get things done. But we do have to really come into this quality of, you know, kind of coming out of our comfort zone and really moving forward. 
if you even look want to just look at the third house energy right now the moon as you know when the sun is rising the moon will be in cancer it will be on venus so it will be a very interesting day, a day as far as that goes you know so moon venus transits they're always they're they're usually pretty nice right whenever those two energies conjunct you know they expand upon each other um, it could definitely be a very feel good kind of energy. And especially with Venus being the sign of relationships, today is definitely a day where, you know, connecting to the right people, connecting to the right energy will, you know, put you in like a nice little space, especially now with Mars, which is also in the third house, but it will be in Leo. You know, it will be in Leo. You know, there's going to be this quality of we want it, we're wanting to move things forward. You may feel yourself, maybe certain passion projects are starting to come up to the surface. Maybe things like that, like that, that you want to really move forward, especially with this nice little sextile with between the sun and Mars. That's actually happening that, you know, was a little more prevalent the day before, but that energy is still there. All right. So. Another thing I want to really draw your attention to is all this Taurus energy, right? So even though the sun is in Gemini, happy birthday to all the Geminis out there. We still do have all of this Taurus energy. But now, as you can see that as the day begins, it's going to take on a 12th house like quality. And we think about that. Taurus is wanting us all, especially with Uranus here, especially with Mercury, which you know, just finished its retrograde not too long ago. And we have Jupiter here and the North Node. There's this quality of wanting to actually build the life that we really want to see. But that's not going to come without connecting to the right people, connecting to the right people and actually feeding ourselves um, material and sources, resources that really align with what we are wanting to manifest. That's really, really important. Mercury, eight degrees of Taurus, and it's moving very slow, guys. It's moving very slow. It's moving about, what, a half degree a day? So Mercury is not really going that fast. And then, of course, you have Jupiter, which just moved into the space. Not only that, just to kind of hone in on Mercury a little bit, Mercury is in the 12th house here, and it's in Taurus. Not only does Mercury not like to be in Taurus, but being in the 12th house is going to slow it down even further. So Here's the incredible thing about this, guys. Manifestation right now is not going to be some sort of get rich quick kind of scheme. It's not going to be something that just pops up. This is going to be something where, you know, almost somewhere, it's almost like you're not even given the manual, right? You know, like how whenever you get, I feel like nowadays, whenever you like buy furniture or you buy something that you have to put together, there's not even words anymore. It's just pictures. It's just pictures now. I don't know if you noticed this. And sometimes that can make it just that can make it difficult. That's what it is right now. Right now, from the universe, all everyone is getting is pictures. And the like, or is at the very least, it's a language that we may not necessarily understand. But you can understand pictures. You can use your imagination. And with Jupiter here, it's really wanting us to use our imagination. Jupiter likes being in the 12th house. You got to remember that, too. Jupiter is a traditional ruler of Pisces. It likes to be in that area. It likes to be in the 12th house. But with Taurus, it's going to move a little bit slower. All right. So like right now from the universe, what we're a lot of us are experiencing is we are being given the vision to create the life that we really want to create. But there is some work involved and it's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to be super easy. We also have to take into consideration. We have Chiron also in this 12th house energy. It is an Aries, mind you. So there is a lot of ego traps that we have to overcome. It's, you know, it's in the Deccan of the sun. It's in that second Deccan of Aries. So, we have to take into consideration with this energy as well, with all this 12th house energy, right? We can really create and build the life that we want. But we also have to realize that when it comes to communication, when it comes to trying to think our way out of a situation, this is sort of the time where we really just have to take some action. You've been given the vision. You've been given the tools. You have all the tools. And if you don't have all the tools, go get the tools. Go meet the people that you need to meet. Tomorrow, I'm going to have to go buy another device so I can get all of my plugins so I can do this correctly. But you know what? Despite the fact that I didn't have those things right now, I made the decision. I took the personal responsibility. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to unplug my keyboard. 
I'm going to plug my mic in and I'm going to get this thing done because I know that this is where I'm heading to right now. This is where the universe is guiding me. It's that I got to get this thing done. Honestly, guys, a lot of positive energy as far as this goes. But I think the thing is, excuse me, is that a lot of people don't necessarily want to do the work because doing the work is not fun. But here's the here's the thing, guys. Thousands upon millions of people go to Disney every single year. But those parks were not built in a day. Foundation had to be laid. Ideas, plans, zoning, so many things had to go into that, those places to become the magical places that they are. And we really can have that magic as well, too. So many of us want to skip to the end result where we're riding the rides. But even then, when you get to that part, it, there's maintenance that is required. So maybe you are someone that has built the life that you really want, but there's still maintenance that is required. We have this idea in our heads that once we make it, it's done. No, it's never done, beloved. There's always room to grow. There's always room to evolve. And, you know, that's just a part of life. But it's very beautiful. This world is very beautiful if we really allow it to be. So... I'm going to go ahead and draw a card as well for this transit. Some very exciting things coming down the pipeline, guys. I actually really, I'm actually very excited. At, so I'm about to launch my new website. I'm about to just pretty much evolve, you know, bring this to a new level, you know, bring this whole thing to a new level. The things that I've been doing, I've been making YouTube videos since, oh man, it's like 2014 2015 i think is when i started really making youtube videos off and on and stuff like that but just continually putting out content pretty much even if i wasn't super super consistent it wasn't really there's never been like a month where i went without doing something you know what i mean maybe here and there but i just i've kept going you know but now it's time to actually get like a schedule that's my virgo mid heaven talking anyways the card for today, we actually have the card of the Hanging Man. Oh, <laughs> this is so good. The Hanging Man here is pretty much saying that, you know, all of us somewhere in our life, you know, you may be feeling that you kind of are just hanging by a thread. You kind of feel like you're at the whim of the universe and being uh, tossed around. I'm getting this image for some reason in my head of a dandelion, right? Of a dandelion. Dandelions that just fly in the wind and you kind of are just going with the wind you're kind of going with where the universe wants don't be an anchor on this dandelion you are being taken if you allow the universe right now the universe will take you to the place where you are meant to be and this place is going to be beautiful it's going to be the place where you do feel like everything is just connecting and you are really on your path but if you act like, but if you are an anchor on this dandelion, it's not going to go anywhere. And dandelions are seeds. That's the thing about the dandelion. It's actually a seed. So if you allow yourself to be carried to the place where the universe is trying to carry you, you won't, you won't be nervous. You won't be anxious because you are being taken to the place where you are supposed to be. The place where the universe is wanting to plant you so you can grow and actually create the beautiful life that you were always meant to have. So that's going to do it for this astrology forecast for May 23rd, 2023. Thank you so much for joining me on this video, and I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.